we look at another example on trapezium rule and mid-ordinate rule. Find the approximate area enclosed by the x-axis and the curve y is equal to 9 minus x squared between x is equal to minus 4 and x is equal to 4 using 1 trapezium rule with 8 trapezia and 2 mid-ordinate rule with 8 strips. So we start with the first method, trapezium rule with 8 trapezium. So we need to find the length of the ordinates which corresponds to the values of x, the value of values of y in the table. So we substitute for x to get the value of y. When x is minus 4, y is 9 minus 16, which is negative 7. When x is minus 3, y is 0. When x is minus 2, y is 5. When x is minus 1, y is 8. When x is 0, y is 9. When x is 1, y is 8. 2, 5, 3, 0, and 4, when x is 4, y is negative 7. So, a sketch of this would look like this. If we were to sketch this curve, the curve would take this shape. So that the area that we require will be the shaded area. That shaded area. So from here we notice that there is area in the negative part of the axis and we have area in the positive part of the axis. So we find area in the negative part and because they are identical we will multiply by 2. We get the area of 1 and multiply by Two. This gives us using trapezium rule area is equal to a half times one times. 7 plus 0 
this is for this area and since it is identical to the other area we multiply by 2 and that gives us 7 square units that is for area below the curve then for the area in the positive part that is from 3 we are talking about this area area in the positive part it will be given by a half times the width times 0 plus 0 for the ends plus 2 into the length of the first first inner ordinate will be 5 then 8 plus 8 then plus 9 then plus 8 then plus 5 and when we evaluate this get But five square units. So the total area required will be seven plus thirty five, which is equal to forty two square units. So that is using trapezium root with a trapezium. In case we are to use mid-ordinate rule with eight strips, we'll have our diagram which we have drawn same diagram. But in this case, we are interested in the lengths of the mid ordinates. So we have the mid ordinate at three, negative 3.5. have the mid ordinate at 2.5 negative mid ordinate at negative 1.5 mid ordinate at negative 0 0.5 mid ordinate at a 0 0.5 mid ordinate at 1.5 and mid ordinate at 2.5 and lastly mid ordinate at
3.5. So the area using mid ordinate rule is equal to H into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Yn. We don't have negative lengths. The negatives only indicate that the areas are below the x-axis. So we need to get the lengths of the mid-ordinates by substituting for the values of x in the equation. So we have 9 minus 3.5 squared, which gives us negative 3.25. Two point seven five six point seven five eight point seven five 6.75, 2.75, and lastly 3.25. So this is equal to the widths of 1 into 3.25 plus 2.75 plus 6.75 plus 8.75 plus 8.75 plus 6.75 plus 2.75 plus 3.25 so when we add this we get the area that we require So this gives us an area of 43 square units. So we can see a small variation between the area obtained by trapezium rule and the area obtained by mid-ordinate rule.